love you. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another unhaul video. I have a couple of books that I've read recently and just don't want on my shelf anymore. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book I have is The Darkest Corners by Kara Thomas and I actually already have this book. I thought I did not because this is not the cover I have. Never seen this cover before. So I was like, a new book by Kara Thomas. I was wrong so wrong. So I have two copies now so I don't need two of them. I'm probably gonna end up giving this to my friend Nicole because she likes to read and this is one of the more popular books that I have that I'm actually getting rid of so figured if she hasn't read it already she can give it a try. The next book I have I actually own another copy of it because I'm dumb and didn't realize that I already owned it but it is Tantalize by Cynthia Lentich Smith. I always see covers in the thrift store and I'm like, that cover looks familiar, but I don't own it, so let's buy it. But this was one of them that I actually do already own, so I was going through my shelves the other day and realized it was there, so off to the thrift store it goes. The next book is another one of those. I didn't think I had a copy of it, but I did. So it's uh, Third Grave Dead Ahead by Dorinda Jones and this is the third book in the First Grave on the Right series. There's like 20 of those but I have the first four. But I didn't think I had the third one. I do. So the next book is another one of those. I didn't think I owned it. Saw it at the thrift store so I bought it. It is Alex Lake's Killing Kate. Clearly I want to read it if I keep buying it so I should probably get around to it but we're getting rid of one copy because we don't need two of them. Now onto the books that I actually did read and just gave them either three stars or lower. My rule is if I give a book three stars or lower, it's gotta leave. So these are those books for this month. The first one is Nameless by Lily St. Crow. I was super excited about this book because it's a horror retelling of Snow White. It was not good. I gave it a two out of five stars. I th Most of the story I was just confused throughout the entire thing because it doesn't explain anything. It just kind of drops you into this world and you're supposed to know what all the made-up words mean and all that jazz and nothing is explained. I thought maybe it was like the second or third book in a series. No, it's the first, so no excuses, but uh, no. Just no. The next book is a short story that I won off of Goodreads a while ago and I just did not like it. I gave it a one out of five stars, but it is Morgan by RJ Furness. I just found it super boring and it just jumped all over the place and just not for me. The next book is a poetry collection, which I gave three out of five stars and I just don't usually read poetry. So I don't need to keep it on my shelf because I'm never going to revisit it. But it is The Chaos Inside Me by Elizabeth Salas. This is actually like a really good poetry collection out of the ones that I've read. I really liked this one. It's very like raw and honest. But like I said, I'm never going to revisit it. So it's just going to take up space. The next book I have, I was sent by the publisher. I read it. I reviewed it. I gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. So the rule is three or less, out it goes. It is Bloom by Kevin Panetta and Savannah Ganchu. It was cute. It's like a graphic novel all about these two boys falling in love while baking and I really liked it but only a three. The next two books I'm actually going to be giving to my friend Nicole and they're Spindle Fire by Lexa Hillier and The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. They were just average for me. I gave them both three stars but I figured there's something that she might like because she likes reading and all that jazz like I said earlier. So we're gonna give them to her because they're the more popular books I'm getting rid of. The next book I have is Enchantment by Orson Scott Card. I hated this book. It was boring. I gave it a two out of five stars and that's all I'm gonna say about it. The next book I have has been on my shelf for like years and years and years. I recently got a new bookshelf. My mom said I had to go through my shelves, get rid of books that I don't have in order to have my new bookshelf. So these next four books are those books that I'm getting rid of. The first one is The Secret Game, A Basketball Story in Black and White by Scott Ellsworth. This is the story of the first black and white basketball game that ever took place. I'm pretty sure I won it off of Goodreads and I was interested in it because basketball. I won this in 2015 and I still haven't read it. It's 2019 now so clearly we're not gonna pick it up so. The next book I have is a historical fiction. I don't really read historical fictions so 
I'm just getting rid of it because it's never gonna happen, but it's The Rail Man's Wife by Ashley Hay. Historical fiction, that's all I have to say. And then the last book is Sweet Breath of Memory by Aurelia Cohen, and it's all about these like four ladies who are friends and then shit happens and it just, it's something about people dying and grief and I'm just not interested so off to the thrift store and then the last book that I have for this haul is one that I actually already own a full copy of and this is the arc so I don't need an arc and a full copy so we're getting rid of the arc but it's still mine by Amy Stewart and it's like a thriller book I didn't actually read it yet so I don't know if it's good or not. This is another one that has been on my shelf since like 2015, 2016, and I haven't read it yet. All right guys, so that was my unhaul video this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye.